Last week, we got a massive rally after cooler than expected inflation reading. Man, it's feel like maybe the Fed doesn't need to tighten as aggressively going forward. There's been a lot of focus on the tech stocks that suddenly were higher because they do better in an easy money environment. But like I explained at the top of the show, I'm more interested in a rally that's been quietly unfolding for the past few weeks, not just the last few trading days. I'm talking about the incredibly powerful run in the cyclical names, some of which have had shocking moves higher. I say shocking because these cyclical smokestack stocks are exactly, precisely what you're supposed to avoid or sell going into any Fed-mandated recession like it looks like we're having. The hedge fund playbook says that when the economy slows, you need to avoid the cyclicals like the play. Their earnings are hostage to the state of the economy. Obviously, you can't own them when the economy is deteriorating, right? So how the heck are the cyclicals running like this? Are we looking at a weird counter-trend rally that will quickly come undone fizzle once Wall Street realizes that the Fed's still going to bring the pain? I'll be in sport Porsches. Or could this stunning rally in the cyclicals actually have even more legs? I'm going to give you some examples. In recent weeks, Boeing, Caterpillar, Deere, Dow, Honeywell, and Nucor have all caught fire. Why don't we start with Boeing? Technically, this stock bottomed in June at 113, but it rolled over again and came close to those levels in late September, only making a higher low at 121. That higher low is key. Since then, Boeing soared all the way to the low 170s. Now, we're talking about a 43% gain here, despite the fact that this one's one of the worst run companies in existence. But now the stock seems unstoppable. Even when Boeing reported a pretty awful quarter in October with a $2 billion revenue shortfall, after initially dropping nearly 9% on the news, made sense. The stock turned around the next day, and it hasn't looked back since. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.